So as part of our staycation, the first thing we're doing is bowling. Tip and bowling. Before we go there, cha cha real smooth. Cha cha. You were all really waiting for that, weren't you? Cha cha. Let's go. What did we think? Sienna? Out of five, what do you give it? 2.5. 2.5? Hash. Hash. That's harsh. Hunter, what do you give Infinity out of five? Five out of five. We have a winner. 
chicken dinner. What do I give it? Mm, I'll give it a. I'll give it a 3.5. I thought it was excellent, but it's quite a bit of money for one. I'll put the prices down below. And it's quite quick. Now, your children will have the idea that going fast is the way to go, but you really want to slow down and, and try not to go in a busy time because there's lots of people in there and they're all, you know, you sort of backed up and you get backed up in certain rooms and you really want to have it, the experience and make it slow experience. So that's my suggestion. And try and pull the reins on the children because they do like to go fast. Other than that, I thought the actual rooms themselves and the experience was really good. I just thought it probably could have been more longer um, for the money that you're spending. What do you think about that, Hunter? You would sort of agree? Kind of agree. That's a kind of agree? Not really agree? Very much agree. Not really agree. It was long enough for you? My favourite part? What was your favourite part? I have to think that my favourite part was that computer thing, which is all the lights and the whole room is mirrored. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I think that was my favourite. What was your favourite part, Sienna? The same as yours. Although I did like the bridge as well. Nope. The bridge is other than the bridge. Hunter didn't like the bridge. I like the bridge because it was one of those wobbly bridges yeah. that you used to have as kids. I don't like the bridge <laughs> because it's a wobbly bridge. I like the bridge. I don't like the bridge. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that was about it. So we're off home now. It's a bit of a... Wait, Yes, the computer where the lights is like a base, but it's that and probably the room with all the bouncy balls. So Hunter likes the, oh well, yeah, like the, the bouncy balls. I like the computer room because it looks and nice, the... but the bouncy ball room had more stuff going on. Anyway, the bouncy ball, so, oh, another tip, if you suffer from, don't. What's that thing with the flash? Epilepsy. Don't. If you suffer from epilepsy, do not go to infinity. There's a lot of flashing lights. If you suffer from claustrophobia, maybe not going either. There are some um, things where it's like the walls are like There are certain points that it's super dark, like pitch black, and you can't see where you're going. Um, but other than that, it was really good. What okay, I like about thumbs up. The, what I like about it, they give you these gloves and shoes that are glow in the dark so you can see where the people's arms and feet are. Yeah, you did have to wear glow in the dark socks over your hands and feet. But you can leave your shoes on, just tip number three. Two cement factories, we had the Wagner cement factory beside Cement Australia.
this is oh awesome. God, the monster wheelchair. A wheelchair? It's the monster With wheelchair. With beach wheels. Yeah, the monster wheelchair. Monster Everyone wheelchair. can have fun at Tangaluma. Yeah. The bathroom is really quite good. Nice and clean. Big enough. Nice big mirror. Hello. I've already messed up the room. I should have taken this video when we first walked in. But it's got a nice sort of big double bed there. A nice big couch. And then it's got two singles. It's got one there and then one that comes out that I'll show you and put over there. There's Sienna. Hello. And a closet to hang your stuff. A nice big TV, it's very clean. And a beautiful view. And then we've got another bed there. So the two kids have got these beds. It has a air conditioner, very clean. Yeezys. This table is beautiful. And then, this is our view. How pretty. There's the catamaran we came over on. And then the wrecks are all the way down that way. And I'll show you those later. So when you first come on the catamaran, they give you one of these, which inside has your registration form, which I've already filled out and given them at reception. And it has a little bit of information. So we're also feeding the dolphins tonight. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And they give you this great little sort of book that tells you what's on during the week that you're in there, or in, sorry, in there, that you're here. So we're here on Australia Day weekend. So, and it's got all the different restaurants. I think there's three or four, four or five maybe restaurants. There's um, Asian food, I think Chinese was it? Asian. Just all different Asian food? Asian. Oh yeah, because they had sushi and they had Chinese food. So that's Japanese and sushi. Um, and they had fish and your normal sort of seafoody kind of food. And then they had pizzas. So they put that all here, the times that they're open, they've got a coffee bar. And then on here, they go by times, all the different activities you can do. And there are so many activities you can do. And tonight being a Saturday, they'll have some live music after the dolphin feeding, so that'll be fun. And then tomorrow, it all starts again. So because we're here on a very short weekend, you can also get your photo taken, family portraits and buy them as well, but no, I'm not interested in doing that here. This is a map of the island. So here is where we got the jetty and we're staying just in here. And then the wrecks are up this way. So tomorrow we're actually going to hire a little dinghy, small boat, tinny. And we're going to go up to the wrecks for two hours and do some, um, not scuba diving, what are we doing? Snorkeling. Mm -hmm. We have our cool masks, which I'll show you, that I talked about in an episode a couple of weeks ago. And they have a couple of pools, which we, we, we went in today. And then this here is reception and where all the restaurants are. There's also a little um, convenience store as well. So we're gonna go for a walk later. Convenience store. So we're gonna do the tinny tomorrow, and then we're also going to do, we're gonna to snorkel tomorrow around the wrecks. But then we're also going to do, where is it? Ah, this one. Sand tobogganing. Ooh, baby, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be we're going to do some sand tobogganing. I threw myself into a pickle. That is your prices, they're in Australian dollars. Should be fun. <laughs> 35 meters high, I like this. It takes you five minutes to climb up to the top and 10 seconds to slide down. That is so funny. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most about being here? The Rex or the Sand Tobogganing? Sand slide. Sand Tobogganing. Sand Tobogganing. Should be fun. <laughs> Sienna is an adventure seeker. 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 <laughs> seeker. seeker. Hunter. Hello. What are you looking forward to the most? Hey, does everyone like Hunter's hair? <laughs> Fur. 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 Fur.
Thumbs up it's if you love Hunter's new hairdo. Hunter doesn't look like Hunter anymore. Look. Whee. I look country enough. That was weird. Hunter, what are you looking forward to? The toboggans or the I'm wreck? I'm looking forward to wrecky, 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 yeah. wrecky, wrecky. See ya. Hello. Hunter, what are you doing? I'm playing a game that's basically Pokemon Go, but Walking Dead. So I can see where all the zombies are and stuff. That's just um, weird. We go to purple. I'll go. I'll go one, two, three. Yeah. I'll go three, two, one. Three, two, one. Happy Australia Day, everyone! a bit of a um, special treat for you guys on the one thing. I have organized a bit of a waterfall. Okay. <laughs> it's bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> Lay down on the board. You line up with the eyes, okay? Reason four. Look, no muscles. I can use my pinky. I can flex the board up, okay? As you see, I'm in a life vest. I don't want to be one, but I'm in one. And we're at the Rex. Please look behind yourself, Mum. We are at the Rex. We're at Tangaluma. Yeah, it's been a great time. 
and we're gonna go and explore and show you all the little fish. Let's go, Sienna. Stormtrooper helmets on. <laughs> hope you enjoyed our staycation so to speak my favorite part of our staycation was Tangaluma I mean it was just beautiful yes things could be better in certain ways but Tangaluma is a great place to visit if you're ever in Queensland and have the time I do suggest two nights not one we went for one and we were a little bit rushed so two nights would be perfect or more there is so many things to do so many activities and just snorkeling those beautiful wrecks with all the fish was just phenomenal just awesome i loved feeding the dolphins of course that was great and the adrenaline of going down that sand dune was incredible let me tell you you are going super fast and there's a bigger one a bigger one than 32 meters high for those adrenaline seeking junkies now, if you enjoy this episode, please give it the thumbs up. It really helps on the YouTube algorithm and helps me get this video out to more people. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I'm hoping to have a lot more of these getting out there videos for you coming up in this new 2020 year. Now, I am very busy at the moment getting next week's video ready for you. It is a big one. I have a massive, massive announcement. So I hope to see you next week for that. It is huge. You're not going to believe it. I can barely believe it. I also have my up and coming year, what I'm getting up to and everything else that's involved in this beautiful 2020 year. I am so excited. I'm so scared. I'm so eh, every emotion you could imagine. So please come back and see me next year, next year, next week. But until then, see you guys.